Are you curious about what loose eyeshadows are and how to use them? In today's video I will be showing you. Hi everyone and welcome to the Notoriously Morbid YouTube channel. My name is Orfia and in today's video I want to talk to you about loose eyeshadows. And why specifically about loose eyeshadows? Because I myself have been very much been fascinated by the different types of eyeshadows that exist and especially loose eyeshadows and the variety of combinations that are possible. So I looked deeper into what loose eyeshadows actually are and in today's video I will also be sharing you the tips and tricks on how to apply different types of loose eyeshadows. So without further ado, let's get started. First things first, loose eyeshadows are actually the eyeshadow types that have been around the longest. They have existed ever since Cleopatra decided to wear colored pigments on her eyelids, because different names for loose eyeshadows are actually powder or pigment eyeshadows. And what this means is that those eyeshadows, the ones that we apply to our eyelids, are made of, of a combination of colored pigments blended together to create a specific specific color. And this is a very precise process because every single color is blended together using different pigments and if you use too much of one or of another you will get totally different results. Now in my research on finding out what loose eyeshadows are made of I found out very quickly that if you would only use pigment it would be way too pigmented so that you actually need fillers or binders to make your shadows and not to have them too opaque to actually be usable. So I also found out that the most used fillers in loose eyeshadows are mica, talc and specific types of clay. And these will be added to colored pigments to reduce the pigmentation of them and not to have them be too strong to use. Now of course you also need binders for certain types of pigments and the ones that have been used most for dry eyeshadows are zinc and magnesium. But there is one thing with zinc and magnesium is that they are not always lip safe. So often you will have loose pigments, especially if you look at the ones by Notorious Morbid. If you flip them around, you will see that they are eye safe and lip safe is also mentioned on the bottom of the jar. And if it is not mentioned lip safe, then it means that you cannot apply them onto your lips. Because one thing that is very common to do with loose eyeshadows is to blend them with a transparent lipstick or with a lip balm and apply them to your lips or to even pat them over existing lipsticks. So that is another use for loose eyeshadows except applying them to your eyes. And of course there's also preservatives that are added into certain types of loose eyeshadows and this increases the lifespan of a loose eyeshadow. And if you want to know what is specifically used in your loose eyeshadows, Notoriously Morbid is very transparent about this. You can find it onto every single jar of their products. And because Notoriously Morbid is my favorite makeup brand and we are onto the Notoriously Morbid YouTube channel, I want to quickly talk about the different loose eyeshadows that Notoriously Morbid has available. There are currently three big categories. We have the matte eyeshadows, the shimmer eyeshadows and the glitter loose eyeshadows. So these are all three types of loose eyeshadows. And yes, in the future I will be making videos about semi-loose and also about pressed shadows. And if possible also about liquid, but that has to wait until they are fully up on the website and permanently available. Now matte eyeshadows are my personal favorites to use and the ones that I use most often. And the main reason is because they are super easy to work with. The only thing that you need is a neutral base. So I like to start out with a primer onto my eyelid. Most of the time I use the Urban Decay Primer Potion or Dreams Fade by Notoriously Morbid. Then I will apply a skin toned eyeshadow. So the skin tone that is more or less my skin tone. For me, this is So Goes My Nation by Notoriously Morbid. And then after that, I start playing around with the matte eyeshadows. If you want to intensify your matte eyeshadows, I would recommend wetting your brush and not making it soaking wet, but just tapping it onto a sponge, for example, would already help just so that the pigment sticks to it a little bit more. And this way you will be able to very easily intensify your matte eyeshadow. Up next are the shimmer eyeshadows. And that is what I am wearing today on my eyelids more specifically. These one are shimmer eyeshadows by Notoriously Morbid. Today I am wearing Bones of Your Sins, Coven Muffin and Fishnets. They are three of my all-time favorite shades. I love red and Coven Muffin is just perfect for me. Now the best way to apply them is to start as you would with matte eyeshadows. 
apply a primer to your lid, apply a neutral eyeshadow, and then apply Shadow Bind. Shadow Bind is a specific adhesive meant to bring out shimmers even more. Now you could of course apply them without Shadow Bind as well, but do know that the shimmers will not come out as much, and especially if you have shifting shimmers, which change color depending on how the light hits them, and those will not be as visible if you don't use Shadow Bind. And then finally, there is of course glitter eyeshadows. Now glitter eyeshadows by Notoriously Morbid are not always available, they have only been brought out in very limited amounts and for a set amount of time. So if you want glitters by Notoriously Morbid, keep an eye out on their limited products and on the buy sell trade page. Now glitters, of course, you need to also adhere with a glitter adhesive. You could use Shadow Bind for this. However, if you want to use glitter anywhere else on your face that is not on your eyelids, I would recommend using something similar to Lash Glue. Now, of course, loose eyeshadows have unlimited options of how you can use them. Now, you can also press loose eyeshadows. So I know there are people who are very scared to drop loose eyeshadows, and I have to admit it hadn't happened to me up until today. Right before recording this video, I actually dropped my jar of fishnets and I am a little bit devastated but also very happy that the shade is still available on the website so I can purchase another one. But when that happens, it really, if it is a limited shade, it really breaks my heart. So what some people have been starting to do is actually pressing their loose eyeshadows. Now I would not recommend doing this for every single eyeshadow that Notoriously Morbid has because pressing them will affect the way you apply them. And why is this? Because you will be pouring alcohol into the eyeshadow in order to press it. So that's also the reason that I haven't pressed a single of my shadows is because I don't trust myself well enough to portion out the alcohol right, to have it be able to dry correctly, to press it hard enough, etc. Technically speaking, you could press every single eyeshadow by Notoriously Morbid, however, I am not sure how the pigmentation and how the use of the eyeshadow will be affected by this. So I personally do not do it yet. Now, of course, Notoriously Morbid also has pressed eyeshadows. They don't have a lot, but most of the palettes have pressed eyeshadows. I personally really love them. They are super pigmented, but I will always be a much bigger fan of loose eyeshadows because I simply like using them a lot more. Now, the main thing that I feel that people struggle with with loose eyeshadows is not using too much of them. The biggest tip that I can give you, especially with the Notoriously Morbid eyeshadows, is that if you take your brush and you dip into the eyeshadow, tap off the excess into the jar again or on the lid of the jar and only use a little bit at a time. That is personally how I work and I am super happy with the results of my Notoriously Morbid eyeshadows every single time I use them. Let me know what you think about this type of more informative video about eyeshadows. I will be creating in the future a video about semi-loose eyeshadows and also about liquid and pressed eyeshadows. So if you want to see those, let me know in the description box of this video. Also feel free to let me know what is your favorite shade by Notoriously Morbid because I have so many gorgeous items that it's just very hard to pick favorites. If you enjoyed this video feel free to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the Notoriously Morbid YouTube channel for weekly videos by your favorite darkly inclined makeup brand. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon with a new video. Bye!